How much do you think there is a bit of a, you would know this, a bit of a hangover from what happened last season? Because to win the treble, it would take so much mental, not just physical, mental and emotional strength. Is there a bit of a hangover from that? Like uh, to be... When you've reached the pinnacle, something yeah. you've always wanted to get, which Champions League won, and then reaching the treble. To be full of, of success in a point, like where you, you're happy now that you won everything and all of a sudden now you, you, your form drop and dip. This is something that can happen to a lot of players and teams if you are now happy that you have won everything the previous season. Now you think maybe everything is going to happen again easily for us. Mm. But that's not the case because other teams are challenging you. Yeah. And, and it shows in the games like this where I still can't believe City with all the talent they have into the team and of course all due respect to Crystal Palace but to lead 2-0 and to lose the points in the end of the game, this is, yes, you have a point, this is not something City can normally do, but here we go, it happened in this game. How did you always have that, that you know, see, seasons under Sir Alex Ferguson is notable for them every season pushing for more, but when you've achieved so much, how do you go again next season? Uh, I think that's, the, that's the, obviously the, the role of the manager, to know how to motivate you and keep you on your toe mm. and be like, if you don't do, enough or do the high standards that I require from you, the other guy is waiting. So he is waiting for you. Yeah. And it's come down, I also think, to, for the player, each and everybody to know that he needs to do now better than before. Or even more and more, you want to have and to produce more and your ambition to constantly going. Uh, this is what I saw with the, the winners that I played at United. Constantly, we, you won the title, but OK, thank you very much. Now we move to the next one because it's waiting for us. So when United won the treble in 1999, the following season, they won the Premier League. So, you yeah. know, that shows you that, that says built, something yeah. about their attitude and their mentality. And of course, you know, we're not writing Man City off here. You know, yeah. having just no, won, no. The, having won the, uh, the treble, right. I still think there's a very strong chance they'll win this Premier League. Yeah, but as you said, other teams will be watching, of course. And they'll be like, we, City, maybe... We can get at them. We can get at them, we can go at them. They are not, as the last season, maybe they have, exactly like you say, hangover from all the success. So now is the chance to attack. So we can get points from, from them. Mm. Do you feel that this season, just, again, part of that Sir Alex Ferguson era is his ability to rebuild and be even better than the season before. Do you feel this season, as a, as a team, as a squad, as individuals, is City stronger this season compared to last? Because they lost the likes of Ilkay Gundogan, they lost the likes of Riyad Mahrez. Gundogan, you'd say, pulled the strings for them a lot under Pep Guardiola. He did, but at the same time, I think Rodri is doing that equal, if not better, at times. Uh, of course, it comes down to, to, to Pep Guardiola to continue push the limits uh, of the team higher and higher and to speak with them, and I'm sure he does. But again... Let's not write them off. I mean, this is City, man. This is City full of talent, full yeah. of experience. And they know how to handle pressure like this. You're going to have like, moments like this where you suffer from, from the hands of a lower league table opposition. But still, I think they're up there with, with the contenders for the titles. But saying that, I'll repeat myself, other teams will be watching and they'll be like, OK, we can use their vulnerability from time to time and guess the points. Yeah. Who do you feel they've missed the most, Gary? Um, Kevin well, De Bruyne has won that. Gundogan is, yeah. has been a big miss. Um, have I they replaced him properly, you think? Um, well, who have they bought in? Kovacic, haven't they? Gradiol, Doku, Nunes. They haven't bought in a like-for-like a, a like mm. as such. You know, they're missing De Bruyne at the moment, who got injured, what, first game of the season. Um, you know, that's a huge miss for, for them. Yeah. And, of course, he, he will be back in the coming weeks which will make a big difference. Um, Holland, obviously, when he's not playing. Yes. The guy who is scoring goals and just bullying the opposition. You need that factor up front. But Kevin De Bruyne is the major part of that imagination, creativity, giving the final pass, yeah. shooting when you need to shoot. Yeah. And as soon as possible, he's back and stay fit. Stay yeah. fit, better for City. Yeah. And Riyad Mahrez was a huge part of last also, season as well. Yeah. You know, he gave them that, that real quality on the right-hand side. Um, so has he been replaced as such? Well, Doku plays on the other yeah, side yeah. invariably, different type of player. 
Um, and of course, again, players that come to Man City, it normally takes them a little while, you know, maybe a season to, to settle into the, the club and the, the principles and the ways. Well, Overall, they'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, they'll yeah. be fine, trust me. Uh, you have games like this where you, you suffer, but that's why I said I want to hear what Pep Guardiola is going to say after the game, to see how, what he's going to say, why we dropped the points, how from 2 nil down, a team who won the treble lose the points like this. Yeah. in a way that it doesn't fit to a treble-winning team. No. And I want to know how, how is that possible? How are you going to correct it next time? 